Hello. Today we'll be learning about Unit 17, Emotive Language. Emotive language includes words and phrases with strong positive or negative overtones. Such language conveys approval or disapproval, and whether the writer or speaker views the matter favourably or unfavourably. So what exactly is emotive language? Emotive language includes words and phrases with strong positive or negative overtones. The language conveys approval or disapproval. The language also displays the writer or speaker's point of view. Let's examine this first example. The example says, My best friend's sister is a thoughtless, cheating menace. She copied all of my maths homework and falsely confided in my maths teacher that I was a lazy liar. The writer expresses disapproval of his or her best friend's sister and we can see this through the use of the words thoughtless, cheating and menace. It also strongly hints at a biased opinion and a biased opinion is a one-sided opinion. Now let's discuss neutral language. Some emotive language may be neutral. Being neutral refers to words and phrases that are impartial. More simply put, it means not being biased towards one side. Examine the negative biased opinion and the impartial opinion below. Notice the difference. My son has a baby-faced appearance as he pampers himself too much, which is the biased opinion, and my son has a youthful appearance as he looks after himself properly, which is the impartial opinion. They both suggest the same event, but they are each worded differently according to the writer's point of view. Now let's talk about connotations. Connotations are suggested meanings, ideas or associations. They also suggest approval or disapproval. Notice the different connotations that express approval and disapproval below. The senior citizen shared some of their knowledge with me. The old fuddy-duddy tried to teach me a lesson. To summarise, by the use of emotive language, writers or speakers attempt to prompt the audience into believing certain feelings or emotions. The writer or speaker may have a biased opinion. The writer or speaker may remain impartial. The writer may use connotations which suggest approval or disapproval of something.